Welcome to your November 2020 love reading. We're going to be doing my favorite spread, which is what is your person thinking and feeling about you? What are they going to do about it? And what will be the outcome of that? And vice versa, what are you thinking about your person of interest or significant other? What are you going to be doing about it? And what will be the outcome of all of your thoughts and actions as a whole? Now, I do want to note that we won't be doing extended readings this month, but I will be doing a bonus where I pull three cards from the lover's oracle and it's only 99 cents so i'll tell you how to find that at the very end and also at the end i'll be pulling a card um, for your finances out of the law of attraction finance deck so let's go ahead and get started okay aquarius let's go ahead and see what your person of interest or significant other is thinking and feeling about you at this time what is aquarius's person of interest or significant other thinking and feeling of Aquarius at this time. It looks like they feel like they have a very solid foundation with you, that you're someone that they can rely on, that you two are working towards some sort of future here, and you really have a shot if you put your minds to it of making this long lasting, is how your person thinks and feels. Now, if you're single and you're waiting for someone to come in, they definitely have their mind on having something solid and steady, and they're willing to use, you know, pentacles isn't usually mental energy, but here, you know, they're putting their effort in their in, in this depiction, mental energy, into a strategy, a game plan to give you this foundation. Um, and so yeah, if you haven't met them yet, they definitely are preparing for you. And if you're with them, then they want to continue to build this foundation with you and the things that they do are in mind of the relationship that they have with you, Aquarius. So what is Aquarius' person going to be doing in regards to how they're thinking and feeling about Aquarius at this time? What is Aquarius person going to be doing in regards to how they're thinking and feeling about Aquarius at this time? Five of Pentacles. So they may be willing to go it alone or even go it alone with you. Say you two are in some sort of struggle right now. Your foundation isn't as solid, especially with the circumstances that, you know, the world is currently under and they're willing to stay out in the cold with you. For some of you, they're willing to wait out in the cold for you. Kind of reminds me if you've ever seen Cinema Paradiso where he's standing outside waiting for her for days. <laughs> like they're like okay you know i want this with you um but i'm willing to make a sacrifice and wait it out in the cold if that's what you want aquarius is what some of them are saying so if you are in a relationship you know be mindful of this because it could be a little bit more subtly playing out where they're really focused on your foundation together but maybe they're making a lot of sacrifices for this relationship and uh that one did come out but i hadn't asked finish asking so what is going to be the outcome of how Aquarius person is thinking and feeling about Aquarius at this time what is going to be the outcome of how they're thinking and feeling and their behavior towards Aquarius the hangman so they're making it it's in reverse the hangman and so they're making a decision so we're definitely gonna pull a clarifier on that to see you know what the decision is going to be but let's go ahead and pull a few cards here to see what's going on with Aquarius's view of this situation what is Aquarius thinking and feeling about their person of interest or significant other at this time? And for those of you that are single, it's just your person is very much alone, you know, and they're trying to figure out what decisions to make to lead them to you because they do feel, you know, if, if you're single and they're coming in towards you, they're being divinely guided here, but they may be going through something to get there. So what is Aquarius thinking and feeling about their person of interest or significant other at this time? What is Aquarius thinking and feeling about? Oh, that was three, that's too many. <laughs> what is Aquarius thinking and feeling about their person of interest at this time? The Page of Cups in reverse. So, you know, for those of you that are single, you don't, it maybe have been a while since you really connected with someone. The Page of Cups is sort of that nice new light romance. Uh, you know, it can be a sort of a friendship that uh, leads to romance or a romance based on friendship. Um, and it's also about creativity, as we can see here with this little artist with the easel. So if, you know, in reverse, if you are single, you may feel like you don't have anyone like that in your life, not even a lighthearted, fun connection. So you could be feeling a little discouraged. Now, if you are with someone, you could feel like the, you know, this is all pentacles energy that they're giving to you right now. So you could be feeling like, 
you know, there's not enough emotion involved, not enough spark, creativity, you know, you're ruled by Uranus, you love that spark, right? That, uh, that spontaneity, so you could feel like that's slightly lacking and maybe wish for the days when you could go back to being friends and things were just a little bit more fun and playful and romantic. What is Aquarius going to be doing? Of course, we'll pull, pull clarifiers on any reversals for sure. What is Aquarius going to be doing in regards to their significant other or person of interest and how they're feeling and thinking about them? What is Aquarius action going to be? The seven of wands. So you meet here we you know we're seeing wands energy for the first time in this reading and this is you know wands is passion but this card is very much a card of conflict so it could be that you know you might want to stir the pot a little bit with your person and rile them up just to get them out of this sort of earthy stagnant energy even though they are moving forward here slowly um because you just want a little bit more excitement is what i'm feeling like and if you're single you could be you know we usually associate this with like the knight of wands or even the eight of wands where you're really taking action here you could be taking action but maybe it's going to feel a little bit counterproductive like you're going in circles you're kind of getting the same results if you're single you know it's like the same old song you know the same, that might be the title of the reading well that's not very optimistic but uh, it you know it's like you might stir the pot here to try to get some of this um romance back but in the outcome we have here the ten of cups so regardless of whether you know you're still waiting for this person to come in they are your ten of cups person you can have this very romantic life that you're kind of thinking about and missing here and the ten is having it all it's actually right before the page um but uh you know this lovely loving family on the picnic the child is rocking the other child it's very intimate gathering here you do notice that there's more cups than people so we have one two three four you know and of course the baby's probably not drinking out of one of these cups so it's like your cup overflows you have more than you could need and especially when it comes to love and intimacy and romance you know look how romantic these two are they're still gazing in each other's eyes even with a tiny little baby and toddler you know uh i don't know if that's a toddler could be like seven seven years old kind of looks like the page <laughs> which uh, now that i laugh you know could be some of you are dealing with some issues with children perhaps maybe you know you're trying to come together but there's a child that lives in a separate household i just i'm getting that for some of you you know and you want that child to be included here and you're having some difficulties incorporating into the family because of the other household or something like that i'm just picking that up for a small couple of you when it comes to me you know it's a general reading so i read for all of the different scenarios at once because sometimes i feel like when the single people can observe the relationship people and what they're going through you know you're still aquarius so you're going to have these parallels it can get the single people out of a rut that they might be in and when you're in a relationship and you kind of remember what it was like to be single kind of observing what that energy would be like for you now with the transits and the way the tarot is picking it up it can make you sort of appreciate things too that's just to put it very mildly i mean i think it plays out in many many ways by observing the single and the relationship scenarios anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and pull out this deck now to pull some clarifiers about what is going on here to give us some more insight and depth and i do want to give you a heads up that this deck is a little bit it does have some graphic cards so i have marked this video 18 and over if you have any issues you know you can go ahead and feel free you know if it makes you uncomfortable or something like that feel free to skip forward and i'll pull that law of attraction card at the very end or you can join us in the bonus now i'll say this now for all of you if you'd like to join us in the bonus either you know to skip over this or at the end of the reading what you'll do if you're on igtv you'll click the link in the bio and if you're on youtube you click the link in the description both links go to the same place it's my product catalog so it's the link that says extended and personal readings and it goes to my product catalog if you scroll all the way to the bottom you will see um the november bonus love readings and just look for aquarius go ahead and order it and you'll get the link in your email to join us there but yes we're not doing an extended this month it's just for this three card spread from the lovers oracle it's 99 cents if you want to join us there all right so tell me a little more about this three of pentacles foundation that aquarius person of interest or lover oh man you guys really slipping and sliding away on me here guys and gals all right tell me a little more about what aquarius person of interest or significant others thinking and feeling 
this time with the Three of Pentacles. Give us a clarifier, please. So this is the world in reverse. So they may be feeling like, you know, they're really putting in a lot of effort, but things either it's just not the right time yet and you two just need to keep moving forward for things to pan out, or they may feel like they've been putting in a lot of effort and nothing's coming forward, especially if they're pursuing you Aquarius I'm getting. They may, they're feeling like, man, I really want Aquarius. I've been, you know, doing these little things to try to build this foundation with Aquarius and maybe it's just not the right time yet here. We might pull another clarifier for that, but I want to dig more into the Five of Pentacles and the Hangman. So tell me a little more about the Five of Pentacles. Why is Aquarius person going to be out in the cold here with or without Aquarius? You know, there's two of them here. There's a, a sort of nurturing, caring, like mother-child kind of relationship, which can be in any healthy relationship too, I feel. Not that someone should play your parent, but you know, that sort of nurturing and caring for each other like family and going through hardships together, you know, for richer, for poorer kind of thing. So what is, um, tell me a little more about this Five of Pentacles energy here. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you may not be going through that at all. No, um, they, they're going through this to try to get you out of it if you are going through that. If you're, whether they're going through it alone and they feel out in the cold from you, like they're waiting around, they're going to continue to do that until it reverses, until it changes, because they want to be close to you. They're willing to sneak out in the middle of the night to be with you in this deck. These are the same cards, different decks, right? Um, and for those of you that are out in the cold together, you know, maybe you're having financial hardships since we're dealing with pentacles here, they are willing to see it through to the end with you until this hardship has passed. So can we find out a little bit about what decision that Aquarius this person is going to need to be making in regards to this situation? What, why is that the outcome here? That was too many, you guys. Tell me a little more about this decision that Aquarius this person is going to need to be making. Tell me a little more about the decision, please. Oh, there we go. Two of Pentacles. This is sort of a decision card as well. The lovers, the hangman, the two of Pentacles. They're very much juggling finances here. Uh, if if they're single and they're waiting for you, that's still what they're doing in preparation for you. So they're out in the cold alone and they're like trying to get their finances and their life and their resources, maybe even just their foundation. We're dealing with the foundation, right? To prepare the way to be able to even be with you without being stressed or burdened. You know, with maybe your person, you know, this is an extreme example, but maybe your person is going through some period where they're, you know, had a change of job, change of living circumstance, and they really don't have anywhere to be. And so they wouldn't quite be a good partner for you yet. Not that you would judge them by that. You might actually respect them more for overcoming it. That sort of energy is what I'm getting for some of you. But it's like if you guys met right now, it's just they're too much, they're too disheveled for you two to be able to make it work. And it could even be in a higher sense, like they're working towards a really high goal and they have everything, but they're just like making this quantum leap in their life. And if you meet them right now, they're not going to be who they'll be at the end. Of, they won't become possibly who they're going to be. So you have to wait just a little bit longer here for them to get through this and make the right decisions. Now, if you are in a relationship, it really could be a financial struggle that they're juggling with. I'm going to take this one. The Knight of Cups, but there is a lot of love here and they are coming in romantically, you know. Uh, they do want this Ten of Cups outcome with you as well. And this outcome is for the whole thing. So this is the mutual outcome here. They do want this, they're moving towards it and everything that they're doing and the sacrifices that they are making, whether they don't know you yet and they just are sensing and preparing and planning for you or whether you're in a relationship, you know, and you're like, um, you know, where did the romance go? It's They're working very hard here. I'm surprised that I'm not seeing you know like the seven or eight of pentacles but they um they're not even quite there yet right because that's further down the journey but they are doing what they can to get to you and if you're in a relationship you know even though they're caught up in doing all of this it's for the better of the relationship because at the end of the day they just really want to be with you and that's the decision here that they're making but the, it's also a thing of timing here with the world in reverse they're like okay if i can just hold off a little bit longer with Aquarius, then, you know, maybe things will be a little bit better and we can really enjoy each other the way that we want to. Even if you live together, there could be something going on of this nature. Tell me why this page of cups is in reverse here though, for how Aquarius is thinking and feeling about their person of interest or significant other at this time. 
Why is the page? Oh, one jumped out, but it fell on the floor. And we have judgment here. So, you know, Aquarius, I do feel like you're getting, a, some of you may be a little impatient with your person. Maybe they should have been further along by now is how you feel. Or, you know, maybe they're not articulating to you what they're doing. So you really had no clue till you watch this reading. Oh yeah, maybe that is what it is. You know, and you're just like, why aren't they, you know, here for me, Paige? And then we have the night. They are going to be coming in stronger. But, you know, if you're judging them, you know, be sure that you're still giving them love. Because even in this judgment card, in this beautiful deck, we have, you know, this hand fasting ceremony. And judgment is also Pluto, transformation, kind of like the death card. So you're going through a transformation here, but know that it's leading you you to there even if it feels kind of rough right now and you feel a little out in the cold or a little bit like you're lacking that love and that connection that you used to have with your person and if you're single and you're feeling like you're never going to meet anyone you're never going to have that kind of connection again you know judgment is coming in to say you know don't don't judge too quickly because you know this all could be yours here are the angels watching over you so tell me a little more about the seven of swords and what this sort of little battle of wills is going on here with Aquarius and their behavior. You could be a little bit defensive as well, or people are acting defensive towards you, your person possibly. Um, you could feel like whenever you approach them, they just get really defensive. And you know, when I said some of you could be dealing with a child that's out of the home or the loss of a child possibly, some of you could be dealing with the loss of a friend here the page of cups and this could be maybe making you reevaluate your relationship or just making your relationship that much harder but your person really is there for you at the end of the day so you're maybe a little defensive towards them but with the nine of swords here um you know you, there is something that's affecting you personally aquarius whether it has to do with the relationship or not it's keeping you up late at night um in the traditional deck she's up at night worrying you know here it's almost like a dream she wants to be close to him they want to be close together but there's um there's sort of this coldness to this right i mean all of these illustrations are so beautiful i think but um it's just like you may be fantasizing about being with your person but there's a there's a, a rough edges around here it's something is on your mind and is keeping your head out of the game so it looks like she's you know enjoying him you know kissing her neck but it's almost like her head is somewhere else with the nine of swords you know laying in bed or even laying with your lover if there's stress on your mind your head could be somewhere else give me one more clarifier for how Aquarius is behaving here the five of cups this is another card where it's like somebody is mourning the past in the traditional deck they're looking at the three cups that are spilt over instead of looking at the two that they have so you see here she's looking into this pool of water and she's seeing this face and she's thinking about the past even though this person is here loving her supporting her um she's kind of like hold on pause not even noticing that he brought her this gift these flowers here because she's focused on something in the past you know reflecting back at her so there's definitely something like i said it could have to do with your partner or not but there's something that is making you feel an emotional loss here aquarius and your person is there for you but they're feeling a little bit left out and they're trying to hold things together and they want to get back to this very loving place with you right now i just don't feel like you're very receptive or available for that now if you're single or you're pining for someone aquarius you're like that doesn't really apply to me you know if you're single you could be losing hope a little bit you know having your defenses up staying up late at night worrying which doesn't let you have the energy and then the three of cups that you're focusing on the past you may not be seeing some good potential opportunities that are right in front of you if you have someone a person of interest then it may just be that you um you know it's like you're not necessarily seeing maybe how good of a choice that this is for you at this time because of past experiences um or because you maybe had certain expectations of who that person would be so you know i just kind of want to leave the ten of cups as the ten of cups and not clarify it because it's just a beautiful outcome and i think you know one of my lovers oracle card says that when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong path everything you do um, enhances your understanding of love so i feel like no matter what you do here aquarius at the end of the day you're gonna get your ten of cups and for most of you it's gonna be with your person they're gonna be there for you for small small few of you i feel like you kind of don't want this person 
But again, it's the person you're focusing on, so why wouldn't you focus on who you want? Unless you feel like you have no options, like I said, for some of you, like there's no great options around. Um, for those of you that maybe are more single or have someone lingering around that you're like, meh. Um, for, but for most of you, I feel like if your relationship's sort of in a rut or you two are really going through some things right now, just in your own lives or as a unit, um, you are going to get back to this Ten of Cups, this romance, this picnic, this great life. So don't be in despair for too long. Don't lose too much sleep. Take good care of yourself. You know, find a creative outlet here so you can vibrate that energy and get this Page of Cups flipped upright. Get that loving, romantic relationship back with either your partner or, you know, um, if you're single, bring that in for yourself so let's go ahead and pull i ran a little long here aquarius but let's go ahead and pull the law of attraction card for you okay that one jumped right out shortages of time or money are perceptual if you are feeling a shortage of time or money back to sort of this your best effort would be to focus upon better feeling thoughts and do more things that make you feel good something creative possibly um, you, your time is a perceptual thing and even though the clock is ticking the same for everyone your alignment affects your perception as well as the results that you allow so if you feel like these circumstances are just you know um, un, you can't overcome them perhaps because you're so knee deep in them um, but you're really wanting this here then just find little outlets little things you know maybe paint a piece of furniture read a book you know just do those little coping mechanisms because then you're going to be in alignment and even though you may be like oh my gosh this pandemic's happening we're going to be locked away forever or some kind of feeling like that um it, it won't feel like such a burden. You won't feel so stifled by it. You feel like you really have this time to cultivate and, and do these projects. Also, um, the time might go by a lot faster for you where it's over before you know it, possibly. I know that's doubtful for a lot of people right now, but you know, it could feel, you know, six months can feel like five years and a day can feel like a minute. You know what I mean? So as you observe the enormous differences in the effort that people apply and the results they achieve, you have to conclude that there's more to the equation of achieving than action alone. So yes, this is not the time necessarily to take action and make changes and go out there. This is the time to align, 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 and these things are going to sort themselves out and vibrate. And you're gonna have this 10 of cups union, which is really beautiful, Aquarius. So I'm wishing you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Lots of love and light. I'll see the rest of you in the bonus reading.